Hey, how are you? My name is Andy Freeman. I am the um, artist in residence for the Coastal Discovery Museum in Hilton Head, South Carolina. And today is my first ever Facebook Live to talk about my project. I'm really excited if you are seeing this today, or maybe you'll see it sometime in the future. Um, I'm just going to take a few minutes to talk about what I'm doing with the Coastal Discovery Museum. I believe I'm the first uh, artist in residence that they've had, and this is partially because I spoke to them about having the program uh, sometime last year, and uh, I don't know that they'll ever do it again, <laughs> but uh, we're working together on a couple of exhibitions. So the first exhibition will hopefully happen next May. It's planned, but uh, there's still a couple things in the works for that. And then the uh, other exhibition, the larger one, will happen. It will open in September of 2022. So I've got a little bit of time for that, but I've been actually working on it for um, about a year already kind of getting the pieces and parts together. And during the next two years, I'll be doing a lot of little projects along the way with the museum and hopefully engaging with uh, people in the community. So some of the things I'll be doing, I just finished a coloring sheet for the Santa Elena project that they uh, are hosting there right now. Um, I am also currently working on a linoleum cut print that will uh, be sold for the museum and through the museum and through my website and some of the proceeds will go to help their programs. And then each month there will be something that I will highlight that has to do with their um, programs, their missions, their collection. They have a lot of really wonderful ecological programs that I hope to highlight over the next two years. The end project in 2022 will be about those missions, about there's the ecological missions that the museum has and about their collection. I primarily paint still life work that's inspired by um, people who have passed. So people who've come in and out of this world and touched and used things. And um, so it's a perfect complement to the Coastal Discovery Museum. They have some really fantastic things in their collection. They're a somewhat small museum and not everybody knows about them. I'm hoping that through this project, we can have more people see some of the beautiful things that they have there and um, what they, what they are hoping to communicate to their visitors. So for example, I'll show you one of my paintings. This is my little studio, my temporary kind of, I don't know, it might be temporary forever at this point, um, tiny studio in my little space in my kitchen with my painting area, which actually has some linoleum cuts for me to show you, and my easel. Um, on the other side of this wall is my living room. So when I say it's a tiny little studio, it is tiny, uh, but hopefully it's enough space. It's been enough space for the past seven months. So for example, here's one of my paintings that highlights these spoons. That's a good example of some of my still life work. And so a lot of the pieces I'll be doing with the Coastal Discovery Museum will take some of their objects from their collection um, and highlight the history of the island, highlight the area, the region. Um, I'll be talking about different cash crops that have come through the area, whether that's cotton, uh, oysters, shrimp, various things that have come through. I'll be discussing in my work the Gullah and Geechee culture, which is phenomenally important to the region um, with the contributions that the culture has made, which is something I feel really strongly about highlighting. And um, talking about the natural beauty of the area, which is super important as well. So my first project that I'll be doing with them, my first 
largest project is a linoleum cut. And a linoleum cut is something that's a print. It's cut from exactly what it sounds like. It's like a wood block print, but it's cut from linoleum. It's a slight bit softer than a wood. Um, I am not a printmaker. I'm an oil painter and I do work in watercolors from time to time, but the uh, linoleum prints, I've done a few in the past and really love them. I am also a graphic designer, and so they really tap into that part of me. I love the, the graphic nature of them. So, for example, in the past, I've done everything's reversed. I've done this uh, Raleigh print, which was a linoleum cut, or this Raleigh print, which was also a linoleum cut. So that kind of gives you an example of what the graphic nature of linoleum cut prints end up being. The, the ones I'm doing are one color. They're not two color. Um, I like to keep it a little bit simpler because this isn't my main part of my work. Uh, the one I'm doing for the Coastal Discovery Museum has been started. You might have seen the video showing me doing the drawing process on my website. This is an example of it. It's reversed so that when the print prints, it will be correct. So this is the linoleum. And I'll be carving on that. I actually messed up my first one, so I'm starting over. Um, <laughs> with big surprise, as sometimes that happens. <laughs> so um, that will be happening, and I'll add some really nice uh, videos. I love working with time lapse videos, so I'll definitely add some cool videos to my website for you to see my process on that. If you're interested in learning more about the my project, the artist in residency, the exhibition, all the work that's going into it for the next two years from 2020 to 2022, please visit lowcountrysoil.com. That's the website that I've created to communicate with people about this actual project and the exhibition. Um, but also my personal website is andyfreeman.com and you can learn a lot more about my work there as well. So if you go check out lowcountrysoil.com, you'll learn about the project and uh, what I'll be accomplishing over the next two years, a little bit, and I'll be adding to it uh, very often. And then um, my personal site again is andyfreeman.com. Thanks so much for spending the last five minutes or so with me hearing about my project with the Coastal Discovery Museum in Hilton Head. Thanks.